With the Palestinian struggle taking over the news, many people have started to research the Israel-Palestine conflict to better understand the recent events. The search normally starts by looking at the involved countries. But when people head to Google Maps and type Palestine, they end up on a map that says Israel, with no trace of the word Palestine on the map. Let's explore why. In short, Palestine is not an internationally recognized sovereign state. But in the last 73 years, the maps have changed dramatically. It all started with the British, who made contradicting promises to Arabs in the Ottoman Empire and Jews in Europe during World War I. In 1917, Britain conquered Palestine from the Ottomans and in 1920 began its rule over British Mandate Palestine. Before the Mandate, Jews only made up 6% of Palestine's population. But after the facilitation of Jewish immigration from Europe to Palestine, the Jewish population increased to 33% by 1947. This was part of the Balfour Declaration, a public statement by the British in 1917 to support the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. And since then, the map has been changing. In 1948, the British mandate expired and the Jewish People's Council declared the establishment of the State of Israel, causing a war to erupt between Arabs and Jews. The new State of Israel won the war, capturing 78% of historic Palestine and expelling 750,000 Palestinians from their land. The remaining 22% of the land was divided into the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Then came the Green Line a 1949 agreement between Israel, Jordan, Egypt, Syria, and Lebanon that drew borders between Israeli lands and Palestinian lands. This lasted for 18 years. In 1967, the Six-Day War resulted in Israel taking control over all of historic Palestine, occupying East Jerusalem, the West Bank, and Gaza, in addition to the Syrian Golan Heights and Egypt's Sinai Peninsula. Since then, Egypt has regained control of its occupied lands through a peace treaty with Israel in 1978, but the other territories are still occupied by Israel. Although Israeli forces unilaterally withdrew from Gaza and abandoned settlements there in 2005, the UN still regards Gaza to be under the occupation of Israel due to its direct control of Gaza's land crossings, utility services, and air and maritime space. So how did the Palestinian Authority come about? An attempt was made to start a peace process in the 1990s, which resulted in the Oslo Accords that established a Palestinian Authority with limited self-rule in parts of the occupied West Bank and the Gaza Strip. These are now referred to as the Palestinian territories. Palestine was still not recognized as an independent state, although finalizing the terms of its independence was in part what the peace process was all about. Reaching an agreement on establishing a Palestinian state requires negotiations, but the peace process stalled and stalled. The two sides have not sat down in over a decade, and Israel continues to build settlements on Palestinian lands that are deemed illegal under international law. The land controlled by Palestinians has shrunk as the web of settlements expands, making a two-state solution based on pre-1967 borders more difficult to reach. And that's why, when you search Google Maps, you can't find Palestine. The Silicon Valley firm says it remains neutral on such issues and that it uses dashed gray border lines when it comes to occupied territories. And even though the state of Palestine is recognized by 138 UN member states, we can still see these lines around the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Activists all around the world sign petitions and protest every year to get Palestine on the map. But so far, nothing has changed.